Don't just stand there. This thing weighs a ton. Ugh. Mazes suck. What kind of sadist would build a maze that shifts around? Oh, yeah. One like Rom. Now, why couldn't they have just left it like this? Could you give me some help here?
Guess the old fangs in the neck trick went out of fashion. So, we're looking to do a bit of industrial sabotage here. But I'm pretty light on Semtex right now. So, uh, what's the plan? <laughs> Just give me a moment. Now, how does this contraption work? I know how it works. You see, Jen, our friend there is still alive. Expect they thought he was just too nice a guy to go into the blender. I'm so glad we've got to you in time. There. You're welcome. Sir, did they put you into the device? No. The Count forced me to watch as he drained the lifeblood from my brethren. There will be no more sacrifices. We are here to destroy the machine. No. Forget the machine. And consider those chalices. They are already filled with the Count and Countess's draft for this evening. Later, the guard will collect them. Contaminate the contents. And that godless pair would no longer be invincible. Some sort of poison, do you think? They are immune to such trifling notions. You are dealing with race, imbecile. So what do you suggest? I suggest you, corruption. I suggest you. Hybrid blood will contain the mortal taint. That, mixed with the race element already drawn here, would prove highly dangerous to them. You must enter the machine. Sounds like a reasonable plan. What? Okay, time out here. The corruption would like a tiny word in Coach's ear. What, Jen? I only said it sounded reasonable, that's all. Stop. Okay, you expect me to strap myself into a machine built with only one purpose. To kill and to leave that fruitcake at the controls. I merely expressed an opinion. You trust him with my life? No, but if you do it, Jen, I won't let him harm you. So, do you trust me? Okay, now, gently does it. Got enough. We can stop it now. I said, stop it! Are you mad? You're killing her! Give me that! Ah. There is nothing you can do to stop this. Runt. You have to kill the Count and Countess? Good riddance, I say. They're in the ballroom. Ah, oh, you two lovebirds enjoying a cozy little nightcap. The party's over, guys. Why didn't I simply disembowel you straight away, hybrid? You see what happens when one ignores one's instincts. But then you would have missed drooling over that prize wool in the Thalia. 
Maybe now we can have that other little tango you promised. <laughs> you don't imagine I was being serious. Of course I recognized you. Yeah, right. Leave this grand city default to me. I'm just the moment. Easy kill. Yo, Countess. Somehow hope you'd be first. slaughter when it's your own little bunnykins, huh? But, but she shouldn't be, we... She'd only just drunk from... Oh yeah, that's right. You thought your cool isotonic cocktail would have protected her. Hmm. Big mistake. But it works. We, we experimented. Now, I'm confused. Are you weeping as a husband or a scientist? Wraith noblemen do not weep. Swift vengeance is far more our style. Can't hear you, Realm. You trying to say how sorry you are? Want to donate your body to science? Uh, uh, I'm dying. Yeah, that's right, baby. I made my own little deposit into your blood bank. I'm dying quickly. Oh, damn you, hybrid. I was hoping I'd really suffer at the end. He'll be sadly missed. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Come on, Jen. This battle's over. At least the Helot can come out of that cellar now and not fear for their lives. It's time for us to leave Ether. I won't be rushing back. I'm proud of you, Jen. Whoa, where are we? We're back in the Nexus, Jen. My Lady Arella has gone, it seems. Abaddon holds sway here. Come on, we have to get to Kronos. He must be protected. Scree? Scree, where are you? I'm right here. Keep going. Scree! 
Jan, keep going! Since I've got to this godforsaken place, I've been praying I'd see you soon. And now I can't bring myself to look at you. What's happened to you? Lewis! Lewis, speak to me, goddammit! Lewis, you can hear me, can't you? Jerk. I mean, believe me, I've never been like Little Miss Establishment, but what you are isn't chaos. It's greed. It's evil. You're just destroying everything. Arella's lies are killing you. You have failed. It was Lewis. He tore the heart out of Cronus. Killed him. It was awful. I could... I don't know what's happened. He isn't Lewis anymore. Okay. Shh. It's all over, Scree. It's all over. Abaddon's won. Oh, my girl, stop that. Right. The best thing to do when things get as bad as this is to look at the facts. Agreed? Good. Fact number one. And top fact on the list. I am still alive. Agreed? Good. Fact number two. You're still here to take care of me. Thank goodness for facts. It was horrible. Avedon's everywhere. But he hasn't won yet, Jen. Believe me. We have one last hope. Now you're not going to let him get away with all this, are you? What he's done to Lewis? No. I'm gonna kick his ass. That's the spirit. So, what's this last hope, Rocky? Last hope. The last slim hope. The last... All right. A long shot. I got it. Lies in the realm of Volka.
You okay, big fella? Bit slow with the tourist guide this time. You've been a brave companion, Jen. I'd say we've muddled our way out of some pretty tight corners, haven't we? Quite a team. Let's uh, agree. We've only just arrived. Shouldn't we save our post-match analysis till we're out of here? Of course. I think I'm simply trying to prepare you. Not a big fan of this place, are you, Rocky? None of my lady's followers would ever choose to be in Volca. But when I was last here, I was bound, hooded, rarely conscious, and tortured relentlessly. Yeah, we got clubs like that back home. Sorry. So, nice to be back. What are we doing here, then? I think it's our last chance. It is a formidable realm, the very essence of chaos. Abaddon won't have needed to lift a finger in Volca. And yet supreme strength lies here as well. The rulers of its cruel race, the Jinn, have terrible godlike powers. Secrets which could be critical now that Kronos is lost to us. You know, this is some mountain. It's a volcano. Good. And we're going in. Better still. The Jinn are a ferocious race, Jen, and they live in tune with this volcano. While it's dormant, they're at their weakest, but their power builds up as the volcano heads towards eruption. And when this thing goes up, we better be long gone. I can't see a thing. Oh, listen to that echo. Yes, the chamber is of considerable size. The royal court resides here during the years of dormancy, awaiting the shift in the geothermal cycle that heralds the next active- Hello, Volca! What are you doing? Checking out the echo. The Jinn are a volatile, capricious people, Jen. They have almost limitless power, and they answer to no one. Can we try not to upset? You said they were dormant until the shift in the geothermal doohickey. The geothermal cycle may be influenced by the simplest actions on our part, or even just our very presence here. We have to be extremely cautious. Okay. Why is it so dark in here? Well, they don't need light, Jen, not during the dormancy. Oh! Yeah, well, I do. Give me that. Don't worry, one little lamp's not gonna... We can win. Who has dared disturb us while the mountain sleeps? I only hope 
you have not woken mighty King Iblis himself. Who are you? Apologies, my lord. Keep quiet. If they learn that we are on the side of order, we are as good as dead. I am a servant of Abaddon, Lord of Chaos, and am here on my master's behalf. <laughs> Is that so? My Lord Abaddon considers King Iblis to be an invaluable ally. He holds your king in the highest esteem. The king has no love for any of those from the Nexus, including your Lord of Chaos, I believe. But then, the king is not necessarily altogether wise, is he? Ah, I, uh... A stranger, for example, arriving with harmful intent towards the king, might be welcomed by some. The stranger would only have to let it be known, and he might find friends in the court, a way of reaching the ear of the queen, even. A more deserving sovereign, some would say. Well... But I see you have a hybrid. A rare jewel indeed. I am told they have many unique powers. Oh yes, oh yes. Scree. I should like a hybrid of my own. Hmm. You will sell me this one, eh? Uh, I, I would be doing you a disservice, sir. Th that hybrid is uh, very lazy and none too bright. No? It looks acceptable. Oh, I know my hybrids. I could bring you a better one another time, but this one is lame, a burden to be seen with. Aren't you? You see, feeble-minded. Not for sale, as you wish. But she will be of little use to you here, not in her current form. A small gift to help you on your way. <laughs> Flowers. I trust your stay in our kingdom will be illuminating. It was close. Are you all right? Sure. Except I'm unburdened to be with, apparently. <laughs> well, uh, of course not. Uh, I had to say something. 